Yeah, hello and welcome to Kimber Bushcraft. As you can see, I'm in Kimber Camp today. Uh, wonderful weather. The summer has returned to Denmark here in uh, September. It's awesome all week. We have about 25 degrees Celsius. Uh, some places up to 30. It's very unusual uh, for Denmark this time of the year, but I enjoy it very much. And so do Cornelius that are with me out here today. Yeah. And uh, my video today will be uh, uh, two parts. One from uh, this shelter, from my Viking house, and uh, then I have some footage for the weekend that I was in uh, Sivarsund, Viking village, where I spent uh, three days there together with my Viking friends. And uh, yeah, it was a wonderful uh, experience, and uh, I hope you like that too. So that will be a part of this video uh, almost in the end. Yeah, but today. Uh, it's mostly because of these two items, or the company that makes these. And uh, I would like to tell you a little bit about that. Uh, it's the company Roselli in uh, Finland. I'll talk about that in a little while. And I got these two, uh, a knife and an axe from them. And uh, yeah, but it started with something else. I was on a trip to uh, Flensborg in the northern part of Germany and uh, then I bought this a little knife from Roselli it's a uh, chopping uh, garlic this one is coming with it and uh, yeah I just fell in love with this little knife uh, I was actually going to use it for carving and I probably do that too but uh, yeah I love it and uh, I must say it's not on the website anymore so it's possible that it's not for sale anymore and then when I uh, got home, I was into the website and watched uh, the products that they are making. And uh, I really got hooked on the handcrafted products. And I thought that the, their vision and uh, passion uh, for knife making and uh, outdoors in general uh, match my uh, style perfectly. And then I had a video conference with uh, some nice people from uh, Roselli. And uh, yeah, we decided to start a little cooperation between uh, Kimber Bushcrafts and, uh, and Roselli. And they offered me to send me a knife and an axe. And uh, it is these two items. I'm very grateful for that. Yeah. Roselli is a well-known and respected company that makes some of the best knives you can get and have a great service. H. Roselli is a Finnish company that has making handcrafted knives and uh, axes for more than uh, 45 years. Heimo Roselli was growing up in a rural uh, Finland with his family around the farm. He started making his old knives and after a few years he really got hang of the craft. Finding the balance and hardness and flexibility enabled him to sharpen the steel to last for a lifetime. Nothing is left to chance, nothing is mass produced and nothing gets approved that isn't flawless. Roselli makes knives from carbon steel, ultra high carbon steel and Damascus steel. And the ultra high carbon steel is a specialty that I have developed in, uh, over the years. It's an awesome steel and it's a, a steel that will last for a lifetime. They make hunting knives, opening knives, bushcraft knives, fish knives, carpenter knives, traditional Finnish liko knives, kitchen knives, yeah, and perhaps in the future, a Viking knife. I'm working on that. Uh, hope they will be interested in, in uh, designing a, a knife together with me, a little Viking knife. First, I would like to talk about this knife. It's called a grandfather's knives with a special sheet. It's for hunting and outdoor knife. It comes with a handcrafted sheet of dark vegetable finished leather and combined with curly birch and uh, details from a reindeer fur. It's carbon steel, the hardness is about 60 HRC, the blade length is uh, 70 millimeters, total length 180 millimeters, the thickness of the blade is 3 millimeters, and the weight is 95 gram. The handle is also made out of curly birch. And in my video uh, from the Viking uh, festival or the Viking market, I used this uh, a couple of times for carving uh, a spoon and uh, yeah it works very great. I love it. It has a good it has a good grip, a good handle. 
you can hold it and uh, yeah I love it very much and uh, as I said before uh, this sheath uh, I love it it's old school and very Viking style I think so this would be my uh, Viking knife uh, in the future and uh, yeah if they decide to make a Viking knife uh, of course I'll try that too And uh, then there's this axe. Yeah, it's a special axe, I think. I love it very much. It's an axe, short handle, red elm. Uh, I know in the States and otherwise, and other places they call it a hatchet, but on the website it's called an axe, and <clears throat> here in Scandinavia uh, we don't use the term hatchet, but small axe or big axe. So, <clears throat> for this axe, it's made of carbon steel, the hardness is around 60 HRC, the blade length is 90 mm and the total length are 350 mm. It weighs 720 grams, uh, it's a good weight for a little axe and uh, the leather sheath is uh, dark vegetable tan leather. As you can see here the profile yeah, is actually very thick here. And that means it is really good splitting wood. And as you saw in the beginning of this video, and you'll see in my video from the uh, Viking village, how I split wood with this, and it's really awesome. And I also use it for carving, uh, my little um, spoon, and it's awesome for that too. So, yeah. A nice handle, good grip, very sturdy, and uh, yeah. I love it very much. You can see fine details. It's so good handcrafted. Yeah, I used it so uh, of course it's going to be a bit uh, like this after a while, but uh, it's only adding some patina uh, for the products. Uh, this is mostly a, I'll call it a bushcraft knife. It's not particular Viking knife, but as you saw I have it on my belt, I can do that. Uh, I'm not sure I'll wear it on my belt, it's a little bit heavy for that, but I'll bring it uh, along when I'm in the forest and uh, chopping wood with this. I'm looking forward to uh, testing it out more, see how it performs, but I'm sure it will be a, a great success. And the company H Roselli has an awesome uh, service. They have free worldwide uh, shipping uh, for orders over 200 euros. They have a lifetime warranty too, a free sharpening service as well, and you can have uh, free engraving in your uh, blades uh, on the axe or the, the knives if you want to do that. So go into their website and check uh, the products. They are really awesome and a great company. And uh, you can subscribe to their newsletter and you'll get updates and trips and tricks and so on. Uh, if you want to do that, it's for free. And uh, then you are following this uh, awesome company. Also, you can do that on YouTube. I know they have a great YouTube channel uh, that offers you uh, some information about their knives. And now I think it's time for uh, preparing my coffee. Yeah, and uh, while the coffee is uh, being prepared, I think you should uh, watch this little video from uh, the weekend I spent in uh, Sepersund, Viking Village. It was an awesome weekend, uh, and yeah, I hope you like that. Uh, in this video from the uh, Viking Village, I'm trying to make it a little bit different, uh, so it don't be the same every time. So I mostly made footage from the times where there were no public there, but only Vikings that was living in the camp and that was uh, having a great time. Thank you.
Jo, jo, og der, der er mange genganger på det. 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 Der er Det er fine selskab nu. Ja, det er ja, det er hyggeligt. Så er vi kræsner lidt større. Så var det godt. Ja, der er også godt. Ja, der er lidt varme. Varme her for os alt. Det er det. Ja, det er hjælper. Ja, det er hjælper. Vi regner her. Det er godt. Det første pæler var lidt der. Første parti går det godt. Ja, det er for os. Og så skal man være i tør og værre igen. Ja, det er det. Ja, jeg har ikke bort den. Jeg tror du manglede den næste. Nej, 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 det var overlægger, du skulle have vokset, som ikke virkelig. Nej, det, nej ja, men det, det, det har jeg helt vist afskaffet. Ja, okay, nå, okay.
Du vil altid lege. Du vil lege med alle. Du vil gerne lege. Du vil gerne lege.
til at tvang, og han film, hvor vi drikker kaffe. Vi drikker kaffe. Simpelthen. Ja. Ej, det der med kæmperkaffen, jeg på et tidspunkt, der... Ja, så tror jeg, når vi skal med ud, så hælder jeg lige min kaffe, så laver jeg sådan en blink. Så det er det kæmperkaffe. Det er jo sgu en skid, som det er. Ja, altså det er jo noget, der bare lige pludselig opstået. Jo, jo, jo. Det er jo faktisk lidt godt. Togens video, togen sker nu. Der er mange år. Vi drøner og drøner og drøner. Der skal ske noget. Prøv at se. Ja, for det der. Ja, for det. Men så var det også færdigt syg, var det ikke? Ja. Ja. Thanks to uh, Irish from Belgium and her husband uh, that sent me these things, uh, some coffee, uh, yeah, you can see here, and uh, some whiskey, and this is the whiskey. It's a uh, whiskey with honey in, and it tastes delicious. I'm so grateful for that, and also some treats for Cornelius that he has already eaten. So uh, yeah, and beside that, he made this for me. You can see here, uh, it's an awesome little piece of uh, Viking jewelry that I'll put on my uh, rucksack and uh, yeah, have it there and it's uh, Tom in runes. Thank you very much for these, uh, thank you very much for these uh, awesome items. I really appreciate that and your kindness. Yeah. And skål to you all. Hope you're having a good autumn. Uh, it started very good for uh, us here in Denmark with uh, sunny weather and uh, high degrees Celsius. Mm. Oh yeah.
Mm. Yeah, and Kone is not uh, much active today. It's very hot here. He's lying outside in the shadow and hearing stuff. He's been barking a lot, but yeah, I try to make my recording when he's not when he's quiet. Yeah. And uh, yeah. And you saw I made a table for this. It's uh, great to have when I'm eating out here. And I put some stones around in my fire pit so I can uh, have the uh, firewood uh, contained there. And it's working very nice. Mm. Yeah, and some of you have noticed that I'm trying to grow a bigger beard, especially uh, the mustache. I like to have it long here, perhaps uh, so I can put something in. And uh, yeah, this one is not growing fast. Uh, I think it's because when I'm getting older. Uh, yeah, I don't know. So that's the reason why I have this uh, growing my mustache. I want to have a big one. And uh, this is how the spoon uh, turned out that I made in, uh, in my video. You can see here, I got left the bark on the back side. I only have to uh, put some oil on. I haven't done that yet, but yeah. It's a little bit big uh, for a spoon to eat, so I think I'll use it for when I'm cooking. But uh, this is how it turned out. Some of you maybe noticed this one. A little pendant, I think it's called, with Odin. And in my next video I'll talk about this. Another great company that I'm uh, beginning uh, a work with, collaborate with. Uh, yeah, so excited to tell you about this too. Cool little thing. Cornelius, as a skater. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah, oh, God. Oh, uh, say hello to all the kind friends out there. Hmm? Ah, I got something for you. Stay there. Be there. Let's go to see. Some dry meat. Mm. Here you are. No. What about this? No. No. Mm. Nice. No. No appetite. Yeah, folks, this is all for now. 
Hope you like this little video with my presentation of a grand company H. Roselli from Finland and uh, the footage I uh, choose to show you from the Viking village uh, up in Sebersund. Yeah. Thank you again for watching Kimber Bushcraft. I really appreciate that, all your support and kindness. I'm glad you liked my latest video from Akersund, uh, Akersborg, where I put in some uh, black and white footage uh, or black and white uh, portraits of the uh, people that were uh, attending that event. Yeah. And uh, hope to see you again on the next one. Bye bye and take care.